Thank you very much, Axel. That's a very good idea. So I hope you can all hear me. Axel, can you please just nod your head if you can hear me? Very excellent. I want to thank you very much for that introduction, and this session has been so interesting. And thank you for the opportunity to be here at this event. And I would say be here because I feel like I am there. We are all virtually at this event. Uh, so my name is I am president of the Nautical. I've been asked to talk about cooperation uh, in maritime digitalization. And I'll just jump right into it. If I can't my slides, please. I'm not sure what's going on yet. Well, I'll just get going then. Uh, in the maritime industry, I'm going to go to the next slide, right? The maritime industry is in the midst of a digital revolution. Over the last decades, we have seen increased digitalization from the introduction of the digital select. Um, as part of the global maritime stress and safety system and the development of the automatic identification system, as well as the VHF data exchange. So today, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go a little bit back to basics, take a look at areas of cooperation. And um, yeah, next slide, please. We're right there. Areas of cooperation, levels of cooperation, and then finally, I want but first of all, as Axel has said, I'd like you to have your smartphones in. So next, please. We'll put up the next slide. I'd like you to, on your smartphone, if you can see your smartphone, open it up and open up a window and go to menti.com. And when you're at menti.com, we'll put this in presentation to you now. There we go. On menti.com, I want you to enter that code 1990388. That's 1990388. And it will open a window that will ask you for some words on what does cooperation mean to you. So I'd like you to enter in one word, two words, three words. What does cooperation mean to you. And at the bottom, make sure you click Submit. And we're going to build a word cloud on what cooperation means to you. So we're seeing some coming in now. Things we put, doesn't have to be three, if you can't think of three. Harmonization seems to be winning right now. Collaboration, together, that must be good. Alliance, oh, that's a good one. Alliance, sure. Harmonization still be And we're getting lots coming in now. This word cloud is building and changing as I'm looking. Harmonization, ah, oh, together is growing up. So we are looking at what cooperation means to us. And I will leave this open. We'll continue to build this word cloud. But I'd like to move now on to my slide, and we'll move in. And together and harmonization seems to be those key words. Common interest is coming up too. So we'll leave that menti open and continue to add your words. At the end of the presentation, I will download and include the word cloud that we've made at the end of this event. So if I could go back to my presentation, please. Now that we know what cooperation is, I kind of want to go to some of these other terms. I present on going digital in maritime. And there seems to be confusion between digitization and digitalization. They're hard enough in English to get your head around so I can understand them. And I thought uh, that this working mouse com.au could help us. So digitization is that simply taking what we do, those paper documents, for example, and putting them in a digital form. But digitalization is so much more. It's about using the digital environment to do more, to be collaborative, 
to share, to harmonize, to have that cooperative approach. Next, please. So what are the areas of cooperation? Why do we need to cooperate? Well, if we look at the basics, it's about operational requirements. It's the user needs. Think about these operational requirements because they're so and they are varied. In their time, we tend to think on the ship and immediately around the ship. Aids to navigation and the port environment. Digitalization helps us see a broader area. As Michael said yesterday, reaching into the hinterland. The why moves beyond a specific to a more global, holistic why. Safe, secure, efficient, environmentally friendly operation that supports sustainability. The what, the what is more the technology. And there is a lot of technology. Technology is developing so fast. Our why and our technology go together. Ideally, we can adopt existing technology or adapt it. And the technology, our what and our why will be iterative. They will develop together. Then there's the how, and we've talked about it already, standardization. Standardization of data formats, of technical transfers, but also this concept of standardizing methodology, measuring how we work and looking at our standard operating procedure. So we have standardization at the technical level, but also at the operational level. Next, please. So then, what are these levels of cooperation? Who is cooperating? And I was asked to talk on international cooperation as I researched it. The cooperation is at so many different levels. Uh, I could draw a, a web, a spider's web amongst the international bodies, national bodies, regional groupings, universities, academics, and the industry. So the users, the providers, they are building this who element. Next, please. And we've seen it. It's in action. So international, regional, industry, cooperation, innovation is in action now. I don't want to go into detail. There's so many examples. I've just pulled a few off of my feed. I had to put SPM up there. But the rest of these are all within the last week, announcements of cooperation. Innovation means that technology may outstrip those standards that we were talking about. Standards take time to develop. We need practical solutions that can be identified for the requirement, but we need them now. And we have this lag or this option that this concerned that there will be lag. I'd like to get your input once again, so I'd like you to pull out those phones one more time. If we go to the next slide, please. And I have three statements. So after you've submitted that first one, you will see there are three statements. So we need to go to the next, click to the next one, please. Statements, yep. You can click on to the statements. Uh, just click next on the presentation. There you go. Ah, you got it. Oh, we've got people answering already. So how much do you agree or disagree with these statements? The first statement is digitalization will revolutionize the maritime industry. The next one is, there are clearly defined use cases, those requirements for digital data exchange. My third question is, the maritime industry has an effective approach to standardization. I'm going to leave that up just for a few seconds so you have a chance to enter your thoughts.
That's very interesting. We're seeing some I think we've got a pretty strong agreement that digitalization will revolutionize the maritime industry. That's looking pretty clear to me. The use cases, pretty good, not quite all there. Maybe a bit of concern about the fact that the maritime industry uh, approach to digitalization, people are pretty well sitting on the bar there, on the, on the fence. Um, again, I'm going to leave this open, but I'd like to move back to the presentation. You can continue to answer, and at the end of this presentation, I will download the results and we'll provide those. If we go to the next slide, it's interesting about standardization. Because if we think about digital, the digital communications that we use now, uh, if I go back to my slide, the digital communications that we use now, that 3G, the 4G, and now the 5G, what you've just used on your phone is making use of these digital communications. If you can remember back to 3G and then into 4G, which really wasn't that long ago, I'd like to go to the next, so click next again. And this is a bit of a timeline. The 3GPP, or the third generation partnership program that has been developing the technologies, and we heard about LTE and LTE Maritime yesterday within the 4G. They develop in a process for standardization that is based on an industry approach with four releases a year. So you see how we are growing. On the top bar, I put the 1G, 2G across, and on the bottom, you can see some of the more specific maritime approaches that we've used with standardization. So standardization at the digital level can be very complex. If we go to the next slide, it's a very complex environment. Next, please. And you won't be able to make this out because you're not supposed to. It's very complex. So this is the Internet of Things, the standardization organization of the developments. And you can see they've got a number of verticals as well as the horizontal with the telecommunications. Now, some of those symbols, some of those uh, images might be familiar. You've got IEEE, you've got ISO, you've got IEC. But there are so many different aspects to this Internet of Things and standardization. It can be very difficult. So I go back to my other comment. If we can adopt or adapt existing and only develop if, at all, if the very last case. So I go to my next slide, please. So the opportunities and challenges for the future. Well, we have our requirements. We have our technology and we have this need for standards all working together. Next, please. Within the framework of the different entities, international, regional, national, the universities, the industry, all working together. This provides us great opportunities, but also challenges, because we're trying to build this network, use this myriad of, of capability to our best advantage. And it comes down to knowing what we want and why we want it, and knowing that will change. Recognizing there are different technologies that could be used, and linking it through these standards. Next, please. So a bit of a look to the future, and you could bring these up. Next, please. Yes. We want to move beyond digitization to digitalization. And the technology can be used to improve, to grow, and to enhance. Next, please. Considering the why and the who and the fact that they will be iterative, things will develop. What and how will come. It's not what we do now. It's but what we can do and what we can do better. Next, please. Ideally, we can 
adapt or adopt technologies and only develop technology as a last resort. In the maritime, it was mentioned yesterday, we don't have a large a base, so it's not a, a financial valid base to develop our own tools when there are other tools out there that we could use. Next, please. And we can learn from the work of others. We know that there are other organizations that are developing standards very rapidly, being agile, but not being perfect. And finally, what we need to do, next please, we need to remember that what we need today will not be what we need tomorrow. We can grow and enhance, and we can look to a future that is difficult to imagine because even six months ago, could we have imagined having an online digital conference? So we have to know what we need today is not going to be what we need tomorrow. We want to build for beyond then. Next, please. So perfection is not attainable. We know that. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity to have an international conference during a global pandemic.